Hello, childrens. It's me, Mr. Bruce. I still have my, my mask on because I was outside. Today's book is I Want My Hat Back. And that's one big old grumpy looking bear, isn't it? Before we start, keep your eyes watching, ears listening, voice is quiet, body calm. I want my hat back. My hat is gone. Look at this old bear. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat, said the fox. Okay, well, thank you anyway. I guess I'll be on my way. Have you seen my hat? Oh no, the frog said. I have not seen any hats around here. Oh, well, thank you for your time. I'll be on my way, said the bear. Have you seen my hat? He asked the bunny. And the bunny said, no, no, why are you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, said the bear. Well, thank you anyway for your time. And the bear stumbled upon a tortoise and he said, Have you seen my hat? He said, I haven't seen anything at all all day. I've been trying to climb up on this rock. Would you like me to lift you up on it? Oh, yes, please. That would be very nice, Mr. Bear. Thank you. So he lifted him on this rock and he was on his way. Then he came across a snake hanging upside down in the tree, as one does. Have you seen my hat, said the bear. I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. Hmm. My hat doesn't look like that, said the bear. Well, thank you anyway. And off he trembled. And there was a groundhog sitting by his hole. And he said, Groundhog, have you seen my hat? And the groundhog, who was not a very smart animal, said, What is a hat? And the bear said, okay, well, thank you anyway for your time. He wasn't going to be any help. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat. Oh, my poor hat. I miss it so much. There he is laying on his back in the field looking at the clouds. And up wandered who but a moose. And he said, what is the matter? Well, I lost my hat, the bear said, and nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? Well, said the bear, it's red and it's pointy. Hmm, it's red and it's pointy. It's red and it's pointy. Wait a second. Wait a second, said the bear. I have seen my hat. So he turned around and he started running and he ran past the elk. And he ran past the groundhog, and he ran past the snake, and he ran past the fox, and he ran past the tortoise. And who did he come upon? The rabbit. And what was the rabbit wearing? Oh, we forgot. He had on a red pointy hat. And the bear said, you stole my hat, you rabbit. The rabbit was so scared he was shaking, and that bear got right up in his grill. Didn't say anything and just looked at him. Next thing you know, he's sitting down on top of the bush and saying, mm, I love my hat. Just then, a squirrel wandered by and the squirrel said, excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? And you know what the bear said? No, no, why are you asking me? I haven't seen them. I haven't seen any rabbits. I would never eat any rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. And the squirrel said, okay, thank you anyway. I guess he was grumpy. And the bear just went back, sat on the ground, and enjoyed his hat. The end. Wow. Well, let me ask you this. Why would a bear need a hat? And if he needed a hat, what else could he go with that? So if he was so cold, he needed a hat. Maybe he'd need boots, maybe gloves, maybe a scarf. 
What else would you put on to dress up the bear? Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Until that time, get to your folks and wash your hands. And remember, no shirt, no shoes, no service. Bye-bye.